report for our company, which is on-site healthcare for the Grab. So I want you all to present to me all of the ratios, which is liquidity, activity, leverage, and profitability ratios. Okay, now I will uh, present to you our ratios, our first ratios, which is liquidity ratios. So, uh, liquidity ratios have uh, three types, which is current ratios, quick ratios, and working capital. So, uh, let first let's take a look for the current ratios. For the current ratios, in our previous year, which is 2021, we have a 0.77 times. Uh, but in 2022, we have a 0.88 times which is a better performance than the previous year. So our next ratio, which is a quick ratio. So uh, same as our previous ratios, we have a better, better performance uh, than the previous year, which is in 2021, we get 0.74 times, then the 2022, which is a 0.84 times, which is a better performance than previous year. So next, our networking capital. So in 2022, we have a negative 202,087. Then the 2021, we have a negative 361,488. So we have a less, uh, we have a better amount than the previous year. So our performance also better. Okay, for the next, for the next ratio, which is activity ratio. For activity ratio, we have four parts, which is inventory turnover ratio, average collection period, fixed asset turnover, and total asset turnover. For the first ratio, which is inventory turnover, as you can see in the graph, for the two for the year 2021, we have the value 30.96 times, and for the years 2022, we have the value 26.58 times. This since 2022 have a lower inventory turnover than 2021, we have made worse performance. For the next ratio, average collection period. In the, two, in the year 2021, we have an average collection period which is 66.92 days. And for the year 2022, we have the average collection period 79.59 days. This performance for the average collection period is worse since in the year 2022 have a higher day than in the year 2021. The next ratio, fixed asset turnover. As you can see in the graph, for the year 2021, we have the value 0.4.52 and in the year 2022, we have the value 0.53 times. The performance for this asset and over is better. This is due to the year 2022 as a higher value than the year 2021. And for the last ratio, which is total asset and over. For the year 2021, we have the value of total asset and over 0.4186 times. And for the year 2022, we have the value 0.4176 times. This indicates that our performance for the total asset and over is worse since the year 2022 has a lower value than the year 2021. Okay, for the next one, I'll be explaining about leverage ratio, which is the first one is debt ratio, the second one is debt to equity ratio, and the last one is time interest rate. So for the first one, for the ratio, you can see on 2021, we got 62% of fund of investment come from debt and while for 2022, we got 65% of fund of investment come from debt. So for that ratio, we need to uh, see the lower percent for the performance. Since from 20, 2022 and 2021, the percentage is increased, so the performance is worse. Okay, next for the debt to equity ratio, we can see that for 2021, the creditor gives us 1 million for 1 million uh, only equity, while for the 2022, we can see that the creditor gives us 1 million to an end 30% for 1 million equity only. So, uh, for debt to equity ratio, the performance needs to be lower uh, uh, by, by past year. So, we can see that 
the value of 2082 is higher than 2032 and making performance will be worse. So next, uh, for the last ratio, uh, which is time to ratio, we can see that on 2031, we got 1.60 times, while for 2022, we got 2.18 times. So for time signature strain, we need to choose the higher times, which is the lower risk for the time signature strain. So we can see that the times is, is, uh, was increasing from 2021 and 2022. So the performance is better. Okay, lastly, we move to our profitability ratios. In these ratios, we have, we have gross profit margin, operating profit margin, net profit margin, return on total asset, and return on common equity. Okay, next, we move to our operating profit margin. For our operating profit margin, we get better performance also because for 2021 year, we got 9.80% and for 2022 year, we got 40%. Next, we have net profit margin. Our net profit margin for 2021 is 2.80%. Our net profit margin for 2022 is 6.52%. So, we get our performance is better. Next we have to, next we move to return on total assets. Our return on total asset for 2021 is 1.17% and our return on total asset for 2022 is 2.72%. So for return on total asset we got better performance also. For return on common equity, in 2021, we got 3.32% and for 2022 year, we got 8.5%. So, our performance is better. So, we move to the short term financing need. Uh, we have uh, two choosers, which is Bangalore and commercial paper. For the first alternative, which is bank loan, uh, we choose Alhashbi Bank, which total loan that we need is 50 million ringgit Malaysia and interest rate 5.45 percent, and the bond X installment is 8 million 460,000 and 157 ringgit Malaysia. The purpose of this loan is to cover operational expense, and the second one is improve credit rating. Now for the second alternative, which is commercial paper. We plan to issue 50 million in Malaysia in commercial paper with a maturity of 118 days and interest rate of 1%. The issuing cost is 5%. So from that, we will get the interest rate is 250,000 in Malaysia. And uh, the cost will be 5% from the 50 million dollar uh, investment, which is 2, 2 million uh, and 500,000 investment. And then for the debt for seed, uh, the total amount that we will get from the loan, which is 47, 47 million and 250,000 investment. So from that we will get the effective interest rate, which is 1.05%. Okay, thank you for presenting about the ratios and the alternatives. So before we choose between the two alternatives, which is bank loans and commercial paper, we need to consider four criteria to choose the short term financing. The first criteria is cost, second flexibility. The third one is term and the fourth one is risk tolerance. Okay, based on the first criteria which is cost, for bank loan, we will get the effective interest rate is 2.04% and for commercial paper, we get 
the effective interest rate is 1.05%. Which means, if we choose commercial bank loan, we will need to pay less interest rate than bank loan. Okay, next. From the third criteria, for bank loan, they have a maturity strategy from few months to few years. But for commercial bank loan, their maturity is less than one year. And so for our company, we plan to issue 15 million ringgit uh, with a maturity of six months. And this is show that commercial paper is more suitable for our company. Next, flexibility. Bank loan may have a restriction on how we must use the funds, but commercial paper does not have any restriction as long as we repay the principal and interest on time. Okay, next is risk tolerance. So, if the interest rate uh, is expected to fall, we need to choose bank loan because they have a fixed interest rate. But if the interest rate is expected to rise, we need to choose commercial paper because they have a variety of interest rate. Okay. After we look through to all the criteria, I think the most stable short-term financing for our company is issuing commercial paper. So do you guys agree or do you have any objection to my decision? No, we are agree. Okay, so that's all for our meeting. Let's all hope that our company will do better in the future. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>